Yo guys, what's going on? This is Yoki Man here and welcome back to another episode of the Spurs Master League here. In today's episode, we are going to take on Aston Villa, Arsenal in the North London Derby and Atletico Madrid in the first leg of the Champions League knockout rounds. So that's going to be a massive game. There's two huge games in this one. We're going to kick off with Aston Villa, hopefully get a fairly decent result. The issue is, is the games between uh, Arsenal and Atletico, there is not much time in between, so the squad depth there is going to have to be on point. We have also added a couple more players to the list per people requesting them, and we may go in for them in the summer. So we've added Kramaric as well. I think that's correct. I don't know me and those me and those Croatian names. We've added Kramaric and we've also added Dembele from Lyon. So two brilliant strikers. I'm just not sure if they're the kind of players we need in this save. I'm not sure on that yet because we've got Badu and Harry Kane, but they would be good options. The only problem with uh, Kramaric is he's 30 and now I'm worried about older players because of how quickly uh, Doherty started to digress. So this will be the team for the first episode here against Aston Villa. We're going to go with Kane up top, Douglas Costa just in behind, Bergwin on the left, Bale on the right, and then Belly and Winks in central midfield. Skriniar and Five at the back with Doherty at the right, Davis on the left, Lloris obviously in net. Someone mentioned making Harry Kane captain. And he also said it would improve the like the team's spirit, which is ridiculous because Hugo Lloris being captain should be just as good. But look at that. You make Harry Kane captain and the team spirit is automatically a million times better. I, I don't know why that is because Lloris is the captain in real life and would be more than a serviceable captain in my opinion. But if we give it to Lloris, it goes down massively. We give it to Kane, it goes up. So we're going to give it to Kane, obviously. I've now gone from a, what what was it, 68 to a 81, like that, just because of Harry Kane being the captain. So, of course, he's going to be the captain. So here we go, guys. Game number one of today's episode. And, God, it's going to be a big episode, I think. Let's kick it off, hopefully, with a decent result here in the league against Aston Villa. Big match coming up against Arsenal, so we'd ease it a little bit, getting a victory here. Although the points gap between us and Arsenal now is quite big. And uh, surprisingly, I, I am favouring the derby, obviously. I want to win it, but I am thinking about playing a little bit of a rotation. Not a big one, just a small one. Just a little one. Uh, because I think the Atletico Madrid game is more important. The points gap between us and uh, Arsenal is pretty hefty. Uh, it's over 10 points now, I think. So we can kind of... We can get away with maybe playing a weaker team. Is that a penalty? He's given a penalty. Opening moments of this game and they've given away a penalty already. Let's have a double check here. I, I just sprinted a little bit with Bergwin. He's strong and... I don't know. That's questionable whether it's in or out. It's definitely a foul, but whether it was in or out of the box, I'm not sure, but we'll take that. Well, you want Harry Kane on them, don't you? Let's fire this one. Oh, have it that way too hard. Please, Harry. He scores it. It doesn't matter how hard he's in it. It fires it straight into the bottom corner. What a goal. 1-0 already, the captain. We'll take that. We will take that all day long. Early penalty may allow us to uh, to take the game a little bit easier. I'm just not sure whether that's in or outside of the box. Let me know what you guys think. I feel like that was a bit close. Gareth Bale now, wide to Doherty. I spot the runner, Douglas Costa! Oh, it should have been Douglas Costa's first goal here for Tottenham. And it should have been 2-0, I think, for Spurs. We're causing them all kinds of problems. Bergwin's having a brilliant start to the game. It's causing them an abundance of issues down that side. Doherty finds Douglas Costa in a dangerous position. Who gets off a shot and he's put it wide again. Two opportunities now for Douglas Costa, though. He's playing fairly well in the hole today. I didn't know how he was going to play in that position because he's not hes not really massively suited to it, but needs to be better, though. Needs to get that on target. Douglas Costa, if he could play it to Bergwin. Dangerous position for Bergwin. He's been tackled there quite heavily. Harry Kane, another penalty. Another penalty. That's the second penalty they've now given away. And is it El Ghazi? Uh, not El Ghazi again. El Mohamedi again. I think it is. He's having a nightmare. This will be penalty number two he's given away. This time against the captain, Harry Kane. Is it? It is El Mohamedi again. <sighs> Terrible. Terrible from Villa. Well, I'm not going to complain. I'm going to go the opposite side this time, though. And I'm going to hit it with some power. Let's see what Harry Kane could do with it. And he scores it again. He's fantastic at penalties. He gives the keeper no chance in hell. And there we go. 2-0 Tottenham. Oh, this is turning out to be a decent day for us. Very scrappy from Villa. It's been a scrappy game, but when we've been able to run at them, we've caused them a lot of problems. And another fantastic penalty from H. Kane. 
Oh, they've managed to play through Wesley here. What can Scrimrat do? He does get back in the end, and it goes wide from Wesley. I think the pressure told there, though. Davis fires that one in. Lands to Harry Kane. Surely should have been his hat trick. Should have been his hat trick. Just at the stroke of half time, but unfortunately wasn't to be. He was a beautiful ball in here from Davis. He's good at whipping them in. And Harry Kane controls it. And he's got to score that, hasn't he? So there we go, guys. 2-0 at half time. Two Harry Kane penalties. But it should be more. And this is the kind of game I wanted for the first game of the episode. A bit of confidence building. Get used to the controls again because it has been a whole, what, six hours since I played the game. But we're looking very, very good in this one. But so far in this second half, it's not been very good from them. I'm not saying it's been fantastic from us. We don't need to have our foot on the gas, though. We're in a very good, comfortable position. They, in the other hand, need to be really trying to put us in the, under pressure, sorry. And uh, Douglas Costa there gets a decent shot off. And they haven't, really. Nothing's changed. I thought they'd come out the second half and maybe they'd play a little bit differently. They'd try and get into us a bit more. They'd, I don't know. They'd just mix things up. And they, uh, they really haven't. They've been very dull, although we do give the ball away there dreadfully. And now they're going to have a bit of an opportunity. But yeah, they've not really had much going forward, which is quite surprising. Grealish has not really been in the game. They'll be hoping to be in it a little bit more this second half. And Scrimmer nearly blocks that, but it's well said by Lloris in the end. We are really surprised at how uh, poorly they've played. They've played really defensively, not really much going for them. Harry Kane is making a bit of a run, but I'm not going to find him. I'm really desperate to get Harry Kane his hat trick. Right, so double sub, let's rest some legs. And uh, I'm going to keep Harry Kane on, though, because I do want to see if we can get him his hat trick. I think he deserves it in this game. So keep him on for now, but he will be the next sub, I imagine, unless something, you know, drastic happens and we get a uh, an injury or whatnot. But yeah, Harry Kane will be the next sub. Oh, Grealish now, dangerous position, and they've got one back. It's 2-1, and it's game on. Aston Villa cut through us for the first time there in this game, and they did it magnificently, might I add, as well. They just played straight through us, and the captain, Jack Grealish, that's definitely, he looks way too young in that model. Way too young. Um, yeah, the captain, Jack Grealish, get the goal here for them. They just cut through us, and once he were in, he was in, and it's a great finish. They broke through again, and they've got a lot of room, and Jack Grealish puts it wide. We're, uh, we're leaving himself, our, ourselves wide open now. I don't know why. Look at this again. Look how much room. They've got the men advantage in this situation, and that shouldn't be the case. Well, we're going to do the usual. We're going to drop Harry Winks now into that DM role, and hopefully that'll help us out in this situation. They've just kicked it up a notch towards the end of this second half. They really have, and we don't have enough uh, players back there now. They're causing us too many problems. Well, this second half has pretty much been about surviving, but we're going to get a late chance for Lamella. He doesn't manage to get his shot off, though. He's held back. Those situations happen quite a bit in pairs, but this should be the full-time whistle, and we do make it in the end. They did by the the just the, the scruff of the neck pulled themselves together towards that end of that second half uh, especially after they scored they were right back in the game it was a little bit difficult but once we dropped winks in Rayleigh we could control the game a bit more I found it a bit easier Harry came with the double though captain today and probably will be captain moving forward now with the uh, team spirit going up right guys so before we submit the squad for the Arsenal game we have received an offer for Alderweireld, and I am actually going to go and accept it. I'm going to change the offer. I'm going to try and get a bit more cash, obviously. But we are going to accept it because, for me, I don't really like him in-game. In I don't like the way he plays. I'm not a big fan of him. He's going to stay here, obviously, for the rest of this season. But I think, as a salary, we can get rid of him. I mean, his salary is, what, 90000 now? Uh, get a little bit of cash for him and we'll sign another centre-back in the next window because we've got Foyth and Tangdanga as well as Sanchez and Skriniar now and I just think Alderweireld, although he is a brilliant player, I'm just not enjoying using him in the game. He gets uh, caught way too easy and players can get in behind him far too easy so i think we're gonna let him go right guys so here we go this is gonna be the squad for today's game against arsenal we've got harry kane up top lucas mora in the hole douglas on the right and son on the left bale not quite up for today's game we also have Lo Celso and Endembele as our centre mid partnership. They've been so great so far this season. Arie on the right, Regulon on the left, Skriniar, and obviously Tandanga now getting a big opportunity again, but he's had several of these all year, and he's not let me down once. And the recent net, Harry Kane keeping as captain. They've got a decent side. Meza Ozil in the team. Cedric at right back. Could be their defence is what we want to get at, but going forward, they're going to be a problem. No Lacazette in the starting lineup, but that is still an extremely strong squad, and 
Saka at 81 rated is looking pretty tasty there on the left wing. So where we are, guys, at the Emirates Stadium to take on Arsenal today should be a difficult task. The kits are looking fantastic. Look there at both captains, Aubameyang and Harry Kane. I'm excited to see what we can do in this one today, guys. This is going to be a massive game, and I love these ones. Two back-to-back -back big games now. I also want to apologize if I sound a little bit nasally or a little bit croaky. I think I'm getting that kind of like summer to winter kind of, you know, little bit of man flu, as I, I suppose it would be put. But yeah, so I am feeling it a little bit, a little bit of a strain on the voice. But nonetheless, I'm not going to stop this daily content. We're going to be ramping stuff up soon as well. FIFA drops in just two days at this stage. So no way are we stopping the content. We're going to keep ramping it up. Uh, I'm enjoying this nonetheless. Let's get into this game let's hopefully get into arsenal and score early I, i'd love for us to come out of the traps david louise is definitely someone we want to pinpoint today is someone we're going to try and get at as much as possible i also didn't mention it but we are going to gag and press in this one because i want to put their back line under pressure so we will gag and press in this game it, i've basically made the decision because of the back line that they have i want to put them under as much pressure as possible lucas mora now dangerous position for lucas mora to be in cedric is there though and manages to get the ball clear yeah i want to put their back line under pressure as much as possible i am aware that they're going to be rapid on the counter attack but i've got a lot of faith in scrinia and in um Tangdanga with their strength and their capabilities. I think we should be okay. I want their back line to be constantly under pressure though. I think Arsenal struggle when playing out from the back uh, when they're under pressure. So let's see if that'll work in this as well. Pepe though, dangerous position and there we go. That's what I was saying about Tandanga. I'm expecting this game to be very back and forth in the first half. I'm going to whip this one in with a Celso, but so far we haven't had much luck with uh, corners and we don't have any luck in this one either. We'll play that ball back to Regulon, who will lift that to Costa. I'll just fire off a fancy volley. Why the hell not? Surge. Lucas Mora! Oh, what a save there from, I believe, is Leno. Oh, that was a great opportunity for Lucas Mora. We're causing them problems early. That's what matters. We need to keep them under pressure for as long as possible in this game and not give them any freedom of play because they will be able to punish us with the attacking threats they've got. Swipping another cross here with the Celso. See what we could do. Harry Kane was in there. But unfortunately, he couldn't get a decent head on it. He was under a bit of pressure. Not a bad ball in, though, again from the Celso. Very much a player that's going under the radar in this series, but nonetheless is an unbelievable player for us. Oh, they've got in a dangerous position there with Aubameyang. And look at that from Tang Danga again. And that is why he's on the pitch. He can do that. He, I'm so reliant on my centre-backs being good in those positions when it's one-on-one -on -one with the striker, with the back to them. And Tang Danga has always been brilliant at that when we've used him. He's always been fantastic in that position. Douglas now. Can I deal with him? I've got Harry Kane down wide. Oh, he spots Son. Surely Son! Oh, maybe, maybe I should have uh, ran on to that a little bit more. That was a, such a good opportunity for us there. Maybe I should have run on to it a little bit more. I kind of rushed it, rushed a shot a touch. We've given away a free kick there. I rushed a shot there a little bit, I think, unfortunately. Oh, that could have been a big moment. I spotted a great run there by Serge Aurier. What can I do with this now? I'm going to pull it into Harry Kane, but Neto's there. So it is actually Neto in net. It isn't Le uh, Leno. I don't know why I was going to say Larice. That's our goalkeeper, Yorkie. Uh, so, yeah, it's Neto in net. So a corner, and I imagine this will be the last chance of this half now. I can't see there being another one. Will they whip the ball in? They will. Kolasinac will get it. And David uh, Louise was in there, but so far, so good from the corner. And surely the referee should play the whistle as David Louise fires off a shot. But it is wide. Nil-nil at halftime. Both teams having opportunities and chances. It's been, uh, it's been really even, actually, to be honest with you. It's been a good spectacle so far. But we'll see if there's any goals in the second half. So, big second half coming up now. And it's going to start with an early opportunity here for Arsenal. We will manage to block him, but he falls to Pepe, and he's just mishit that by the looks of it. And uh, not a great start from us. They're putting us under some pressure. They're pressing us, and I've played some terrible passes at the start of this half. We need to sort that out now. It was a good block by Aria, but that actually led it into the path of Pepe, who's mishit that a little bit and unfortunately put it wide. But yeah, their press, we need to break out of it because it's causing me problems at this stage. Pepe now is going to play that wide to Kolasinac. 
He keeps it in. Surge is there. They manage to whip it in, but Tandanga gets up there for it. But we haven't been winning any of the second balls, to be honest with you. We haven't won any of the second balls. Saka now with a shot, and Saka scores. I said at the start of the, uh, start of the game, he was going to be dangerous. And he has been dangerous, and it is 1-0 Arsenal. And um, I've got to be honest with you, I'm frustrated at the way we've started this second half. We don't look like the same team. We had a lot of good opportunities in that first half. And in the second half, we've just been really sluggish. Giving the ball away, not winning the second balls. Passing has been dreadful. I mean, we clear it, which is fantastic. But there's so many of us back in the box that no one's there to actually pick up the ball on the clearance. And it's, I mean, it's a wonderful finish from Saka. Well, Aubameyang now getting an opportunity and it'll be straight at Lloris. And I've got to be honest with you, it came from us giving the ball away. Uh, midfield to attack, we're struggling to make that move. We're struggling to get the ball from midfield to attack as we get cleaned out there nicely. And again, we're in this situation where we've lost the second ball and uh, it's not looking good for us. In the way of play of this second half, this could be more to Arsenal and we could be well out of this one. We're not doing anything. We can't get past out of our first half. That's how they're playing this game. This is the first time I've been out of our half for ages and we ended up losing the ball on the pass. Uh, we really need to figure something out here. It's not going well for us at all this second half. The first half looked really promising for us. The second, awful. So Gareth Bale coming on and Gedson coming on as well. It's hopefully that kicks us up a notch because this just hasn't worked for us. Well, Arsenal in a dangerous position and Eddie and Ketty will get a shot off again. And they're really causing me problems now. And I'm not really causing them any problems, I don't think. I think they're having an easy time of this one, to be honest with you. Son now, though, for the first time, he's playing in the hole now. And uh, we'll see what he can do. But it's not a right lot, is it? Douglas Costa finds Gareth Bale, who is offside. Arsenal winning the ball back again in a dangerous position. Reese Nelson, who's just come on, finishes the game off. And it will be Arsenal 2 here, Tottenham 0. And this has been absolutely frustrating and bitterly disappointing in the performance of the lads in this game. I don't know why, but things just haven't come off. The passing has not been good enough. The movement has not been good enough as per usual. We haven't been creative really in any manner in this second half. It's been all Arsenal. And they deserve it. And it's frustrating for us. Again, Endebele gives the ball away. And he's done that on several occasions, guys. I can't... And that's a pass I play on a regular basis in a game. Is that forward ball just straight up to Son in the hole. And I can't do it. I just can't do it in this game. I don't know why. But against Arsenal here, we can't play those easy passes. Well, guys, there it is. 2-0 Arsenal. And I'm not sure we'll have a worse performance this season than that second half. I have not played this game yet. And had a situation where I just can't create anything. And in that second half, we created absolutely nothing. They crowded out all our players. I couldn't get a pass off. I mean, this is the best image to show you right here. We played 106 passes. And only 79 of them were successful to their 117. So we misplaced so many passes. They made 20 interceptions. 20 interceptions in this match and it just shows where we are and the majority of that was in the second half dreadful absolutely awful performance here so guys after that terrible performance there against arsenal they have made it a 10 point gap again they're in fourth and we're in third i mean after the way we've played this season that game was just really frustrating for me because we've played such good football and we've been such a good side and I've always felt like if we conceded, we'd still create stuff going forward and we'd still have opportunities. I, I don't know. We just didn't have anything in that game and it's not filled me with much confidence coming up against uh, Atletico now. And uh, it, it was just a weird, 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 weird performance against Arsenal there. I just couldn't get anything going with any of those players on the pitch. And it was basically, we used Son, he came back into the team, and I don't even remember mentioning Son that much. He had such a little impact. He was really bad for us in today's game. More uh, players, when we needed them to stand up and be counted, they just weren't good enough. Let's see what we could do against Atletico, though. So, Man City are happy with the renegotiation, so we're just going to accept terms, and that'll be it. Now, the Virald will be leaving the club at the end of the season to Manchester City.
So guys, this will be the team that takes on Atletico Madrid in the third and final game of today's episode. It's going to be a real tough one, I'm not going to lie. They've got two up top and it's two decent strikers. They're going to cause me problems, we know that for sure. We're just going to have to see what we could do in this first leg away against Atletico. Hopefully Nick and away goal would be beautiful for us. But let's see how we get on. I just, I really want a better performance than what happened in the Arsenal game because that was awful. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Atletico Madrid versus Tottenham in the knockout stages of the Champions League. I think we got a tough, tough draw here with this one. I think Atletico are going to be a very difficult side to play against. But if our team are ticking, we will be just fine. The problem is, is what Tottenham side will turn up in today's game? And will we get a decent result against them? This is the first leg and it's the away leg. So hopefully for us, we can pick up an away goal at least. But uh, just a decent performance from the lads today would be nice. They've got a difficult side to play against, and they're going to be tough to deal with up top today. There's an air of excitement for me here with, uh, with playing Champions League football. It's always exciting, and the aim for this club is to be a Champions League side for future seasons. Reached the final only a couple of seasons ago, uh, and we, we'd love to uh, at least make it through uh, the next round of the knockouts, at least maybe... And see how far we can push on. You never know we knock out football. Son early doors here in a dangerous position. What can I do with it? I will take the shot on and test the Nana. They have signed on Nana. They do have a very strong squad. But that's a good sign from us already. The space they gave Son there. Frustration after the Arsenal game. But he needs to have a better performance in this one. Because he went missing in the Arsenal game in my opinion. Davis there finds Bergwin. Dangerous position for Bergwin. Saul is all over him. We will find Son there who does find Gareth Bale who's very dangerous. And he's hit the outside of the post. Oh, so close early doors. Obviously, Bale will have experience here against that Atletico side being at Real Madrid. Great play from Son. They stood off Bale. She just couldn't find the back of the net. I could have been 1-0 Spurs there. Would have been a beautiful goal for us to score as well. They played that into Douglas Costa. Lloris gets up and out for that one. And Thomas Partey will try and get on it. And now we will have a break here with Gareth Bale. What can Gareth Bale do in this situation? He is a speed merchant. He is a speed merchant. They've stood off him a lot. Oh, he's kept the ball. Gareth Bale! 1-0 Tottenham. That's the away goal that we needed. Oh, what a goal from Gareth Bale. When you need him to stand up, you need him to really make a huge impact here. And that's exactly what we needed from Gareth Bale. I do apologise about the excitement there in that one. But the ball just seemed to stay at his feet. It just didn't seem to be moving from his feet. It was like glue. I mean, his run here is fantastic. And he really is a speed demon. And he gets a little bit lucky with the deflection. But he doesn't struggle with the finish. And Anna didn't stand the chance there. And here we go. I mean, this is old Gareth Bale, isn't it? Running at defences, terrorising them. He gets a bit of luck here in this situation. But nonetheless, he's so calm and cool in that position. Takes it round the goalkeeper. 1-0 Tottenham. And that's the away goal we wanted. Well, that's a terrible mistake that we've made there. And Morata now. We've got to stop the ball back to Morata. And well in, Skriniar there. I've got to be honest with you. That was brilliant from him. Deli Ali won't get to that. Or will he get to that? He won't get to that. He will get to that. And here we go. On the break now. Harry Kane finds Son. Son. If he does play it, he does play it brilliantly. Bergwin, surely. Oh, well saved from the keeper. Anana there. Brilliant save. It should be 2-0 Tottenham, though. Son. Finds Bergwin again. Dangerous position for Bergwin. Dangerous position now for Son. To Harry Kane. And another brilliant save from Anana. We just can't punish them here. This should be more than 1-0. We should be laughing in this one. This was beautiful play from us. Finds Son again. Everyone crowds around. Son means Harry Kane's left open. Oh, Gareth Bale now again. Dangerous position for Gareth Bale. Bergwin, he's probably going to find Davis. He does find Davis. Davis whips it in. Harry Kane is in there. Oh, he gets his head on it. And it is another unbelievable save from Anana. He is having a wonderful game for Atletico Madrid here. They must be happy that they signed him because he's causing... Uh, well, he's not causing problems. He's just having a brilliant save. The reflexes on that was unbelievable. Morata now, dangerous position for him. And he manages to get the shot off, but it's well saved by Hugo Lloris. Just starting to get into the game a little bit more now at Atletico Madrid and starting to cause my back line a few problems. We just need to calm this game down a little bit now. I think we're uh, we're leaving ourselves open a little bit more. And that's not good news for us. 
So we just need to calm down, get back to playing what we were doing before, causing them a lot of problems. They're pressing a little bit more now, which uh, is definitely a problem for us. We don't deal well with the press. But so far, so good. The team has played superbly. Son now, dangerous position. Oh, he does find Bergwin again. Bergwin, Charlie, this time. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. It is 2-0 Tottenham. And what a fantastic situation for us to be in. Two away goals here at Atletico Madrid. And again, we've just cut them open with some great play from Son here. The run from Bergwin was beautiful, but it's a fantastic pass and a fantastic finish. And Anana couldn't stop us this time. I must admit, Atletico Madrid do not look good in this one. I thought they were going to give Bergwin the uh, the fruit ball again there, but we couldn't find him. Yeah, Atletico Madrid in this one, look. I don't know, really, um, like they've sunk a little bit since that second goal went in. They just gave the ball away then cheaply to a throw-in, and we weren't really pressing to, to any extent. And we are going to go in here at 2-0 at half-time. Gareth Bale and Bergwin with the goals. And, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Big mountain now for Atletico to climb because that's two away goals here to Tottenham. Well, I have no idea how this second half will go. We've been known to fall apart a little bit in second half, so I'd like a, a much better second half than what we've been seeing recently. I mean, even in the Villa game, we let them back into the match, and the difference is with it being over two legs, I don't want to give them an opportunity to get into the match. I don't want them to score. Although we do have the two away goals, I want us to make this quite easy for the second leg in the sense that we're comfortably up. No, Morata has stolen it off of screen right. Oh, my God. What a massive save there from Hugo Lloris. And I think that was just us being a little bit lackadaisical there at the back because Skrinra won the ball. He won the ball back, and uh, we just were a little bit lazy with it. I don't know why. We just were, and we can't afford to be doing that in this game. They're going to take confidence from those kind of situations. Well, they've brought on Bertrand Traore now. What is that? What is that? This is a problem for me with this game, unfortunately. The keeper should get to that. It doesn't... I'm controlling the keeper and the keeper just lets the ball roll next to him. I don't understand that. It's it's a fine pass back to the keeper. This is really infuriating. Look at this. This is just a terrible animation. I pass it back to the keeper and the keeper just watches it go past him. I don't understand that. That one's annoyed me. Well, they've got to go back with what is just a ridiculous animation that just shouldn't be happening in that. I, I, honestly, that has really irritated me, that one. Because this is such an important game, and now it's 2-1 when it shouldn't be. It really shouldn't be. All the good work was done by Skriniar there, and I just don't get why the keeper just doesn't react. I'm trying to pass with Lloris... And the keeper just does not react at all in the slightest. And I don't understand it. Although we've got a ball in a good position there with Regulon. We'll get a corner. I don't get that one. Has anybody else had that happen to them? Really strange um, animation choice there by Konami. You know, it really is frustrating because it causes you this situation in a game. We're in a, in a really big match here. And we have that happen. Really frustrating things happening here towards the end of this one. That, uh, uh, yeah, they're leaving a little bit of a bitter taste in my mouth. I'm getting a little bit frustrated, I must admit, with uh, some of the situations that's happening here. Because I don't understand why. And uh, it's causing us a little bit of a problem. But it's fine. It is what it is. This is football. And I'll deal with it. I'll take it on the chin for now. But frustrating nonetheless. Sessignon gets himself in a good position. That would have been a huge goal for Sessignon there. Mora, can he win that? He does, but do! How has Badu put that one wide? These are opportunities here that could end up costing us in this in this competition. They really are. We've missed too many today. We really have. He is stretching for it, to be fair to him. We've missed too many today, and that own goal, that own goal could come back to haunt us. 13 shots here today for us. Eight on target. Need to be putting more of them in the back of the net. Well, there we go, guys. The game is going to finish 2-1, and there is no way... No way that this should have finished 2-1. We had way too many more chances. And, of course, the ridiculous own goal because of the goalkeeper animations. Now, I know in previous there's been some issues with goalkeepers. I know that. But please, Konami, please at some stage fix it. I hope it's fixed for the next year's game because that is just ridiculous that we've conceded that one. The first own goal, the Ben Davis one that we saw, I kind of got that one. It was in the bottom corner. But Lloris comes to it in the wrong direction and steps in front of it instead of just 
collecting the ball. Uh, really, really frustrating. But we will take a two goal, a two away goal advantage against Atletico in the next leg. It should be more. And it could come back to hurt us. It really could come back to hurt us. But what a solid performance from the lads. They had two shots in the end. That's all. We had 13-8 on target. We were dominant. Right, guys. So that's going to be it for today's episode. A little bit of a frustrating end there with that own goal. Literally just the own goal that frustrated me so much. But in the next episode, some more big games. They keep coming. We play Liverpool, Man United and Wolves in the league. So some massive matches there for us in the league. And then obviously the episode after that, we will play Atletico Madrid again in the second leg we've had some good performances in this one obviously that performance against Atletico there after the Arsenal performance is exactly what I wanted us to bounce back and I think we bounced back extremely well there after how we played against Arsenal I was so impressed with some of the moves we were creating some of the positions we were finding ourselves in it was great football from us but anyway guys I hope you enjoyed today's episode and I hope you're having a good day and a good week so far FIFA does launch on Friday for me with uh, on PC so I will be doing some content on that I'm not going to release what the uh, career mode will be but we will be doing one and obviously daily episodes of Tottenham will not be going anywhere hope you guys are all good I will see you in the next episode where hopefully we get some decent results against Liverpool Man United and Wolves it's going to be a difficult one the next one this one was a difficult one really frustrated about the derby but it is what it is I'll catch you later guys and I'll see you in the next one